there was only one rig that I ever had to use, and I think Ed would be exactly the same, this would be the rig. This is a uh, free roving live bait rig, and uh, I just thought I'd run it through and show you. This is 50, 60 pound braid, uh, either Power Pro or ICs. We've got a stop knot, which is made of power gum, which is red, which doesn't hinder the line at all. And there's a small rubber bead. From there, we use a dumpy float, which you can see. After that, another small rubber bead. Then we use a small egg weight. And then I use a large rubber bead to go over the knot, which is on the swivel. Then I use a link swivel, which is more likely 100 pound. And then I twist mine and put a shrink tube over the, over the twist so it doesn't get caught on any weed or anything like that. Then I've more likely got two foot of trace to, me, to my hooks, which are owner hooks. These are size fours. I usually twist them and put the shrink tube over both of the hooks so they're neat and tidy. I always crush the barbs. I only leave one barb on one, one at the top hook and the bottom hook and that's the rig. But to me, this catches everything. It catches three pounders to 30 pounders. Rivers, gravel pits, reservoirs, boat fishing, trotting down. This rig, you can fish in two foot of water to 20 foot of water. You can adjust the rig by moving the stop knot. It's a fantastic rig. That's the rig I would use. This is a dead bait. What we usually do is put the top treble in the back through the dorsal fin, and the second treble by the pectoral. And this now would stand, when you're in fishing, this would stand like this, exactly like it is now. This is how the rig would fish. It can be changed into a dead bait rig quite easily by taking the hooks out, making the stop knot over depth, and then re-hooking the bait, which would be in the towel. The second hook would be in the towel, and the, fir the first hook would be in the middle of the body. This would sit on the river bottom over depth.